In this demonstration of uh, IBM's uh, Business Process Management version 7.5 product, we're going to build a technical sample that is going to monitor a WebSphere MQ queue. And when a message arrives in that queue, it's going to cause the execution of a BPMN based business process. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a, a technical solution for this. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new process application. I'm going to call this uh, messaging, give it a unique acronym. And as we can see very quickly, it's created a new process app. So I'm going to start by opening that process app in uh, designer. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to design, first of all, the business process that is going to be executed as a result of a message arriving on an MQ queue. So uh, the uh, message arriving on the queue is going to want to have some data contained in that message. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new business object data structure. I'm going to call it uh, order and give it some, uh, some arbitrary fields. Uh, we'll give it a field called name, which is a string. We'll give it a field called, I don't know, type, which is a string. And we'll give it a field called amount, which just to be different, we'll make it an integer. Make it an integer. There we go. So I've created a data structure called order with name, type, and amount fields in it. Great. Close that. Save it. Now I'm going to create a business process definition, a BPD, which is the process that we're going to have initiated when a message arrives in the queue. So I'm going to call this test process and up comes our BPMN diagramming editor and we have a skeleton of a very simple process. Now the process which is going to be initiated when a message arrives in the queue is going to have some input data associated with it. So I'm going to add an input variable and we'll call this one order and we'll set the data type to be the new business of we're going to add into this uh, uh, business process diagram a simple activity we're going to call the activity log output and its purpose is that when the BPD process is started this activity will be reached and it will log something to the console to demonstrate that the process was actually initiated. So when a message arrives in the queue, ideally this process will start and we will see that it has started because something will be logged to the output. So we go into the implementation of the uh, activity. We said it's going to be a JavaScript activity and we'll code log.info process started and then log the incoming order variable and that's quite simply the end of our BPD definition that wasn't difficult so just to review we created a data type which we called order we created a BPD we defined a variable as input that takes that is of the order data type uh, we created an activity in our BPD that logs the incoming data as output and we're pretty much done. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to switch over to Integration Designer. And in Integration Designer, which is the tool where we uh, develop the integration components, we're going to switch over to the Process Center perspective. In the Process Center, we can see the new uh, uh, bah, 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 process app that we created a few moments ago. And I'm going to select to open that in the Integration Designer workspace. Once added, uh, what we have is our, process, our Integration Designer having opened up our messaging process application. Now, in our assembly diagram which is where we build out the integration components I'm going to add into that a call an import call that will uh, 
uh, invoke our BPD application. So let me go ahead and uh, select that against our process. We're going to say it's a one-way invoke. And we end up with an assembly diagram which includes an SCA import component which is associated with our BPD test process. So when this component is actually called, it will cause the execution of our BPD process. So what's going to call this? And the answer is that what's going to call this is a message arriving on an MQQ. Within the assembly diagram, we can add what's called an MQ export. So I right click on the assembly diagram. I select add and inbound exports and select MQ. I say what interface do I want associated with my MQ binding. That's going to be my test process. I select next. Now I'm asked for details relating to the MQQ manager from which I'm going to receive the messages from the MQQ. Now I've got a queue manager already created. Its name is QM1. It's going to receive from a queue called Q1. And the host name on which the queue manager is running is called localhost, the local machine. We see here that the data format expected on the queue is going to be an XML document. And that's going to be sufficient for us. But there's one thing that we have to change, which is called the function selector. Now the function selector is used to describe which operation in the interface that we're associating with the MQ binding is going to be called when a message arrives in the queue. So since our service that describes our business process only has one operation, I'm going to select the one operation function selector and hit the finish button. Complete this. And we now have an SCA MQ export component, which when deployed, will watch the MQQ for incoming messages. I'm going to wire that to the SCA import component, which when called is going to start a BPD process instance on the runtime. And this is as simple as our assembly diagram needs to be. It's going to watch an MQQ when a message arrives, we're going to invoke the process. So I save these changes. There's nothing left to be, uh, to be saved here. And we notice that our process application is flagged as having changed. What that means is it is now out of sync in our integration designer here from what is known on the process server runtime. So I uh, select the context menu and select refresh and publish. Now what's happening now is the changes that we've made to the process application, which are specifically the addition of the SCA imports and exports, are now being pushed back to the process center repository. Uh, if we look at the console log of uh, our process center, we will now see that a new application has started. This is the SCA application which implements the uh, MQ uh, import and the call to the BPD. If we were to look at our MQ Explorer environment, we now see that an application has the queue called Q1 open for input. And that application is our SCA module, which is uh, 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 now watching this queue for an arriving message. So all that remains for us now is to place a message in this queue and ideally we'll see the process run. Now to build a message, an easy way to do this is to execute the test module function, select the, the export component, enter some field parameters. Uh, let's say we want a, this is an order for Fred, the type is a blue widget and we want uh, 12 of those. If I switch over to the XML editor tag entry, what we get is an XML document that would represent this message. Now we're not actually going to run the test client, so I can go ahead and close that after having copied it to the clipboard. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it in a text file. There we go. So here's my XML message, which I'm going to save in a file called test, file and save. And then I'm going to use the popular MQ tool called RFHUtil to read the test file, examine the data, and see that it is the data that I just entered, and then hit the right Q button. Again, these are all functions of RFHUtil, but hit the right Q button, which causes the message to be written to the MQQ. Now, if everything's worked, and we look at the system console one more time, we see that there is a new message that has been written to the system console. And that message says that the process started, and here is the variable called order with its apparent data. Now this message, process started, if we look back at our BPD implementation, nearly there, process started, this is where that message came from. So we put a message to an MQQ, the SCA export read the message, the SCA import, which was called as the result of the SCA export, invoked the test process, passed in input data, reached this log output, and we see the log output in the console. So again, a very technical set of tests, but this does illustrate relatively how easy it is to bind a business process definition to a WebSphere MQQ. And that's it. I hope you found something uh, useful in this presentation, and thank you for watching.